Welcome back, friends, to Surviving the Daily. I hope everyone is surviving well. So I stopped in at my local Walmart today, and before anybody accuses me of it, I swear I don't live there, I don't sleep there, I don't don't even work there uh, but in all honesty I do live within five minutes of a Walmart and it's kind of hard not to stop in for all my vices I mean they have the they have the chips they have the sodas they have the pocket knives and while I was there getting the chips and sodas I did end up taking a look at the pocket knives and see if they have the new pocket knife from Ozark Trail that has well has YouTube buzzing and they certainly did they had quite a few of them and well here it is this is the seven and a half inch folding knife uh, d2 high carbon steel injection handle well this is the one that they are saying it's pretty darn close to the benchmade bug out and well i have to disagree from initial impressions let's take a look at it so we have a 3.25 inch d2 high carbon steel blade 4.25 injection handle uh, slide lock and belt clip and your usual cut hazards sharp blades blah 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 cancer warnings from california and uh, made in china so we do have a bench made buck out here for comparison this actually has the upgraded scales but uh, still it is a good comparison so first and foremost well let's see that drop shoddiness was pretty badass, I gotta say. But, and that's gonna be weighing in at uh, just a hair below two ounces. The original uh, weight of this was 1.85 ounces. Let's see what this comes in at. It's gonna be, uh, well, it's 2.8 ounces, so a little less than an extra. So you can almost feel it, the extra weight. Uh, the action on this, uh, I gotta give them credit. That's that's pretty amazing. I mean, for a under ten dollar knife, this is tip up, right-handed carry only. We do have the crossbar lock, or what do they call it? They call it the uh, slide lock. It is it is pretty damn good in hand. is gonna give a lot of the China makers, China knife makers, a difficult time going forward because if you can get a D2 steel blade from Walmart with this kind of action for under 10 bucks, they're, they're gonna have problems. Let's see what we got here. I know this is not the, you know, the true indicator of a, how sharp a blade is, but oh. Right, that they have done this, everything about this knife right. That's pretty, pretty amazing from a Walmart knife. I was skeptical of all the reviews. We do have uh, milled out liners. We do have jumping in all the right places. It is pretty much a knockoff from the bug out. Subtle differences. In design, but uh, Ozark Trail definitely did something right with this one. If you uh, are near your local Walmart, definitely check this out. Pick one up, and pick two up, pick three up. I mean, what, what, what's the harm? You have your bug out, and now we have your wug out, your Walmart bug out. We're gonna designate this as the wug out. This is your 7.5 inch folding knife. And that's your des designation. 72203R1-11. So they don't they haven't named it. So we're naming it. We're naming it the Wug Out. So as always, I want to thank you for stopping in and checking out this video. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And uh, well, I, I know I am. And I'll see you next time.